A new bill filed in the Florida House would restrict the use of pronouns in schools. The proposal would require school employees to use pronouns that correspond to a student's sex at birth. West News Haley Crumble home spoke with a Brevard County lawmaker who plans to support the bill and a non-binary student who is against it. Representative Randy Fine is in support of HB 1223. Absolutely. In Florida, we follow science and we stand up for parental rights and this bill does both. He broke down the two primary things he says the bill does. The first bill says is you are what you are and we're going to, Florida's not going to be in this stupid pick your own pronouns fantasy that the woke left wants to waste our time with. But the other thing it's going to do is it's going to say that we're going to keep gender identity and sexual orientation discussions all the way out of middle school. These are not discussions that young children should be having. Fine doesn't think the bill could negatively impact some students. No, I mean, every student um, has their pronouns. If you're a boy, you're a he. If you're a girl, you're a she. I don't think it will affect anyone negatively. But one student, a senior here at Winter Park High School, disagrees. Representative Fine is not in schools, you know, and he's not seeing what I'm seeing on a day to day basis. Will Larkins is non binary and uses they them pronouns. They're concerned with pushing back discussion of gender and sexuality even further to eighth grade. But their biggest concern is with limitations on pronouns in schools. Why now are people not able to, in the free state of Florida, you know, be who they are supposed to be, be who they're born to be. Larkin says the bill will have a serious impact on some LGBTQ students. When you're not respected, when your identity is not respected, when who you are is not respected and is erased, I, 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 can't, even, I can't even put into words how detrimental this is going to be for students. This is going to cause LGBTQ suicide rates, uh, trans suicide rates to skyrocket in Florida. That is what this bill is going to do. And that was Haley Crumbleholm reporting for us tonight.